Hello there. In this video, I will be showing us. My name is Ortega, and in this video, I will be showing us how to solve the challenges and um, some of the challenges that we face when installing MySQL Server on Windows 10 PC. The first one we'll be looking at will be uh, when the, the process of installing your your MySQL Server. You, you, you are using the installer, is this MySQL Server installer. When you get to the second stage, by when you click forward, um, it will tell you that um, MySQL for Visual Studio. Um, the Visual Studio is not installed, therefore MySQL for C Visual Studio cannot be installed. And also MySQL for um, Access is not installed, therefore it, can, it cannot be installed. And therefore you should sort, solve that problem before proceeding. So, but if you have already installed uh, MySQL uh, Server, sorry, if you have already installed Visual Studios in your computer, you know you have, yet it's giving you that uh, error. Um, it's as a result of um, a bug. So we want to resolve. I uh, want to resolve that. What do we do? So that's what we're going to do now. So when you get to when you uh, confront that uh, problem, it's because because the installer is is um, configured to use uh, Windows. Microsoft Windows PCs that are less than Windows 10. So, and uh, if you have Windows 10, so it will not run on Windows 10, but it will run on Windows 7 or Windows 8. So what do we do? We will, we will go and we will we'll change the major version of the, of the window of the parameter, the major version parameter in your Windows 10 registry. Um, but, but we can easily do that, but you have to be very careful in doing it. And if you don't understand at all what we are talking about now, then you need to um, you don't need to do this particular um, you need to follow this particular process. But uh, I mean, if you know what registry is. And the registry is, is, is what controls the whole computer. So it can easily, if you make any mistake there, the computer is, uh, you have destroyed your computer. So, but if you know that, if you know what the registry is, you know your computer, you can easily do this uh, change. You can easily change the major version. So you can follow the steps that we are going to follow now. You type in the regedit into your start search that is here you type in reg and it's so you say run click on run the command So here is your registry, uh, registry editor, which is the regedit. So this is what you get. Now so once you've gotten this, then the, the, the next thing to do is you um, do a backup. Okay, uh, you do the backup by clicking on the computer. You're going to do a backup of the whole registry. You go to file and you click export. When you click on export, here yeah, that's open to documents uh, folder. So what you want to do is um, backup. This is a backup I've done here now. For, sorry for the registry. And I put the dates when I did the backup. So all you need to do is put the registry backup and make sure you put the date. The date so you know exactly when you did that bad backup. So you, you, you put it in here, just like this, okay? 
but I, I, I'm not going to do a backup now. You, but all you need to do is save. Okay, so I don't want to do a backup, so I, I will cancel this now. So check, note that this thing is showing all that you are exporting. You are exporting a. You are exporting the whole registry. That is, we are doing the backup of the whole registry to your documents. So that's it. But um, you can also you also need to do a backup of just the the file that you are going to work on. So if you right click on the file, you see export here. So you export this. Click on export. It goes to your folder again. So this is the HK local machine registry that you are going to back up the file you are going to work on. So it says selected branch. It shows you there. So but I'm I'm going to cancel that because I don't want to do a backup now. So so you back up that by by doing that you have backed up your um your registry and the file. And if you want to you have a problem with the with it if you have made them if it affects your computer all you need to do is come back and click on the file and click import when you click on import it's going to open so you can now go to where you backed up before with whatever file you want to to restore you click on it click on it and you open it and then it will it will restore. I have cancelled it to restore that file back to its original position. So by doing that, you have uh, you will have restored back your computer. So that is it. And then uh, once you do that, all you need to do is after you have done that, you go on to the next stage. And that stage is uh, you just you want to open up where the uh, you want to open up where the this. Um, the, the, the parameter you want to change is so you click on this HK local machine then system you just uh, you go and do that local machine HK local machine system software then go to current control sets and go to services click on services You, go to, you click on W3SVC and then you click on parameters. When you click on parameters, you see this page. This is the major version, Windows version. I'm, I'm, the mine is version 10. That's what I'm operating on. But what we are, we are supposed to do is right click on this major version, click on modify. So you, you get on, on this screen. Okay, so you you go to click on decimal. You see this is decimal. This is the value. The value is ten. What you want what you want to do is you change this one to seven or eight. Okay, but I'm not going to change it. So I'm not going to change. It. I just cancel it back. Okay, so if by the time I change it, we go to it will be reading seven here instead of ten. So once I have done that, I've already uh, changed it to um, this parameter Windows uh, major version to version ten uh, and version seven from ten. I can now go back to my installer and then I can now run the inst installation and that error message that has been given that. There is no Visual Studios on my computer will be eliminated, and by that I'll be able to run past that uh, stage of the installation of my SQL Server. So that is how you overcome that particular problem for uh, Visual Studio not installed in PC when it is actually installed in the PC. So. Uh, we will look at another challenge in the next video. Thanks for watching. Goodbye and God bless you.